Sticking to what you know can be a reliable way to succeed sometimes, so it shouldn't be a surprise that one of the creators of Dead Space is back with another slow and terrifying space horror game. Welcome everyone back to another video. Today guys, we're taking a look at the Callisto Protocol and everything we know so far. The Callisto Protocol looks gruesome and gory, and it's coming out pretty soon, so let's take a deeper dive. We know that the Callisto Protocol is set to come out on December 2nd of 2022. That's just another few short months away, just in time to give players a fix of horror before the holidays if they'd like it. From what we saw during the Summer Games Fest, the game does look very, very nicely polished. But as always, guys, we have to take everything with a grain of salt. From the actual release date, to the game's details, to the actual gameplay. And we're all getting very used to games getting delayed by now. This is a pretty fine looking game, but that doesn't mean it's locked onto newer hardware only. The Callisto Protocol is confirmed for the PC of course, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, Xbox One and the Xbox Series X and S. That means you'll be able to enjoy it on almost any modern console you'd like, apart from of course the Nintendo Switch. Interestingly, the Callisto Protocol has had one major change to its story approach, and when it was first announced, it was billed as part of an expanding universe by publisher Crafton, tying into its main franchise, PUBG. Now, that was something that was always going to be a stretch, a science fiction space horror game that tied back into a modern day battle royale shooter. It made no sense and thankfully has since been abandoned. In May 2022, it was confirmed that the game is now set in its own world with independent lore. That lore sees us as the player playing as Jacob Lee imprisoned on Callisto, one of Jupiter's moons in a jail cell called Black Iron. Outside of Jacob's cell though, things are going absolutely haywire as a mysterious disease or infection tears through the prisoners and prison staff alike. Now, guys, we're going to be finding out so much when the game releases, so again, we're only seeing what we see from the trailer, what we've read, so I'm just giving you guys what I know so far. But after, of course, all the infection and disease spreads and goes through the prisoners and prison staff, you'll soon break free and have one main objective. Survive whatever hellish stuff is happening and get off of this moon if you can. Very much so like Dead Space, you're going to be playing as a slow moving character with his health bar displayed on the back of his body. Using a selection of projectile weapons with ammo counts projected out of their backs rather than superimposed on an intrusive HUD. It's also a space set atmospheric horror game with alien enemies that have mutated and horrifically reshaped human bodies into body horror monstrosities and including death animations for when you mess up that could scar you for life. Things are very very reminiscent then of the Dead Space series, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. And with a remake of Dead Space itself also coming down the pipeline, things are looking up for sci-fi horror fans such as myself. Now Glenn Schofield has said that ammunition will be scarce at all times. In true survival horror style, you'll have to use the environment to help you out, and we've seen moments where spinning fans and vents have helped the player get rid of enemies, and this was included in the trailer. Now, this reminds me a lot of Resident Evil 7. I know that in the latest installments of the Resident Evil games, finding ammo and finding weapons, and this scarcity in finding the ammo and the weapons is what made it so enjoyable, so suspenseful, and we're going to be seeing a lot of that in this game, which I'm very, very thankful for. Now, there's also been glimpses of a new tech upgrade called Grip, which allows Jacob, the main character, to grab heavy objects, including enemies, to move them about. It opens up a lot of possibilities and looks really cool while you're using it in the game. Now, I'm very excited to see this. Now, guys, this is going to be mainly based around horror, so expect a lot of tension, jump scares, I'm very excited, I know you guys are as well. If you're watching this video, then you're definitely interested in the Callisto Protocol. I want to get my hands on this as soon as possible. Now, 
I do have a gaming PC, so I do plan on purchasing it if it's available on PC, as stated numerous times all over many websites. So if it is 100% coming out on PC, I definitely plan on playing it, and I definitely would love to do a 4K gameplay walkthrough. Let me know what you guys think. Would you guys prefer if I do a live stream of the gameplay walkthrough, and maybe I do, say, a half hour every day walkthrough, or an hour every day walkthrough, or would you guys prefer that I actually did something like a set of videos? I can do either or, I'm very very excited for this game to come out, and we've seen that it's going to have between 12 and 14 hours of estimated gameplay. Now these beta paths are supposedly going to allow the character to replay, or the main person to replay the game and choose different paths. Now that's pretty exciting because you're not set in stone what you have to do. You can change the outcome of the game possibly, and you can even take different routes through the gameplay. Now that's very exciting, I like not having a definite set story. I can choose my own path. That reminds me a lot of the games that have been coming out recently, especially, and it keeps the game interesting. It gives that replayability that we as the gamer really, really enjoy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't made a video in a very long time, but I definitely plan on getting back into it with a lot of these gaming videos. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos from me. I can 100% make that happen. It has been very difficult, but let me see what I can do. Let me know in the comments section down below, and thank you all so very much for tuning into another video. I love you guys. Have a good one. Peace.